did that see me? What's up, YouTube? It is USMC Dipper 19 here, and Logan again, still at his house. Need to come back a little bit. I can see that. We're going to be doing a dip review on Stoker's Wintergreen. Hurrah. Okay, like I always do, the, the can and what I think about it. Okay, so the can of Stoker's Wintergreen. Uh, you can see it. I'll turn it around for you. Pretty dang basic. Oh, by the way, the little kids are out here, so if y'all hear little kids, we're watching them. Um, Stokers, the can's all right. I like the gold around it, but it's pretty dang simple. So I mean, it ain't nothing to be like, you know, to brag about too much or anything. So, oh, uh, y'all hear that plane, right? Thing was close too. All right, so I'm using the black mud jug, of course. That's the only mud jug I have. He's using the if he ever fucking pays attention, whatever this is. What is this? Venom. The venom. The venom mud jug. And. Let's get this show on the road. I'm like way too close, but you know, hold on, let me back up a little bit. Alright. Fucking thing won't even fit in my jacket. Okay. So, Stoker's Wintergreen. Smell. It smells nothing like any other wintergreen I've ever had. It smells a lot more sweeter. Almost like a, it just calls for you to put it in. It's just like, <laughs> this motherfucker. It calls for you to put it in. <laughs> That's what she said, right? Well, anyway, so it calls for you to put it in. So, let's put it in her. Not me, fag. Okay. <laughs> what? All right, long cut. The way this shit is cut is it? It's crazy. Look at that shit. It's like strings. It's almost like damn chew or something. But anyway, though, so... Got it in. First bit. Now oh, look at all that. All right. So we're gonna wait for Logan to put it in. I'm gonna give it a second to let the flavor set in. Then I'll tell you what I think about it. Damn. And we're out here outside the car this time, which was a really fucking stupid idea, dude. Cause it is cold as hell here in North Carolina this time of year, and. Fuck he had an idea to come outside. I mean, we could have stayed in the car, but the kids are in there, the two babies, um, yeah. So they would have been like messing with the camera, all that other shit, so. <laughs> this dude loves the camera, right? All right. <laughs> anyway, though, so on to the review. Taste. Kind of tastes a lot like any other wintergreen, except this one is more of a sweet taste. And you can just taste that sweet smell kind of in it. I know he's doing stupid shit while I'm trying to t talk about the video. But you can kind of just taste it. It's, it tastes good. I mean, it really does. Spit. You get a lot of fucking spit. Y'all seen me spit a few times, I'm sure. I mean, look at this. How good does it stay packed? Fucking amazing. And I know that because I've done it before. Just get right up in the camera. I will next spit. Okay, y'all. So... I said in one of my previous videos that Grizzly Wintergreen was not my favorite Wintergreen and neither was Copenhagen. Well, sorry to spoil it so soon, but Stoker's Wintergreen is my favorite Wintergreen. I think it's the best. I like Stoker's Straight. I think they make the best straight. Haven't tried the mint yet, but I'm looking forward to doing Why that. Why in the fuck so, are you not showing your face? I keep getting too close. Anyway, as I was saying, I haven't tried the Stoker's Mint yet, but I'm looking forward to trying it. Um, I'm really looking forward to it because so far this the Stoker's Straight and the Stoker's Wintergreen are better than any other Wintergreen and Straight I've tried in my opinion. Well, y'all can hear the spit bullying up. A lot of spit. See that Stoker's in there, y'all? Y'all better be dipping one with us too while we're out here. We got some Riding Dirty by Chameleon there in the background. Move, man. The fuck did I step in? Shit! Damn it! Okay, y'all, so we're just out here chilling, hanging out, just kind of jamming. Uh, it's cold as fuck. It's like Frosty the fucking snowman. I feel like damn Frosty out here. Except I don't have no damn hat that makes me come alive. I have a hood, though, but I don't die when I take it off. Okay. <laughs> we them boys out here in the dirty, dirty south. Y'all know what I mean. Uh... Anyway, 
It stays packed really good. I know that because Stoker's always does. You get a lot of spit from it. Tastes great. If I had to rate Stoker's Wintergreen, I would give it a nine. Not quite I'm a ten. And I know it. I'm sorry. Stoker's is the shit. Okay. Like I said, so it's a nine. Not quite a ten yet. I don't think I've had a dip that's a 10 yet. I might have said Copenhagen Wintergreen was a 10, but if I did, then it's kind of retarded if I, if I did now that I have Stoker's Wintergreen and it's a 9 because I like it more. I don't think I gave it a 10. If I did, then I take that back. Stoker's Wintergreen's a 9, and Copenhagen Wintergreen is probably an 8. But I'll find a dip that is a 10 one day, and I will love it, and I will talk about it then. Anyway, we got one more review coming up well, for y'all later. I say this shit's a 10 already. He says it's a 10. I say it's a 9. Comment what y'all think about Stoker's Wintergreen, you know? If you have any questions, anything, you know, like, subscribe, and share. It is USMC Dipper here, 19. And if you want me to do anything such as dip suicides, challenges. And my name is Big Dick Motherfucker 295. <laughs> That's how much he weighs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, USMC Dipper 19 here. Logan. Keep on dipping, y'all. I'm out.